morning and welcome to Live at Mount Sinai. My name is Dr. Ritesh Ramdani. I'm a uh, movement disorder specialist at uh, Mount Sinai. And here is, we have with us today is um, Mr. Anthony Best. Mr. Best has had tremor dominant Parkinson's disease for six years. Um, his condition was fairly refractory to medications. His tremors were getting worse and were starting to affect his ability to do basic tasks for himself, such as eating, dressing, shaving became an issue for him. Even his hobbies, such as martial arts, uh, were starting to be adversely impacted. His quality of life was deteriorating. And so he came to us for a uh, consultation uh, for deep brain stimulation. We deemed him to be an appropriate candidate and he had the surgery uh, done six months ago. What he actually had done was that two small electrodes were implanted by Dr. Capel at Mount Sinai into a specific region of the brain on both sides. That region is the subthalamic nucleus. Each of those electrodes are connected to individual battery powered pulse generators that sit in his chest, as you can see uh, right here. We are able to use an external programmer to deliver current pulses into the electrode through these pulse generators in order to suppress his tremors, his rigidity, and the slowness that was associated with Parkinson's condition. I'll demonstrate now, what I'll demonstrate is us turning the DBS devices on using such a programmer. So we'll turn his left DBS on, which controls the right side of his body first. Now we'll turn the right side on. And as you can see, his resting tremor has virtually disappeared. Now we're gonna do the same for his left arm, for his left side of his body. Can you lift your arms up for us? Good. Now I want you to take this finger and touch your nose and touch my finger. Excellent. And now with the other hand. Good. Put your hands up. Open and close them nice and fast for us and turn back and forth. And this is a patient who has not had any of his Parkinson's medications today. This is just with the stimulators working and he has had over a 50% reduction in medications. He's done wonderfully well and he sees me on a three to four month basis at this point. Mr. Best, how has this procedure changed your life? I've changed my life? Well, let me see. Uh, uh, as far as sleeping, I'm able to sleep better because it was interrupting my, uh, my sleep before I couldn't get any rest. As far as the drilling, I was drilling, I had teeth chattering, I had to sleep with a mouthpiece in my mouth. That's gone. Uh, the tremors are keeping me up. Couldn't even eat. Couldn't add. It took me about half an hour to take a shower. <laughs> so, uh, can you tell us your age? I'll be 65 in May. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, but uh, quality of life, hey, nothing but blessing. Mm. What's Mr. Best's prognosis? Will he have this device the rest of his life? Yeah, for the, for the most part, we expect that he'll uh, continue to have this device for the rest of his life and with, with minor uh, adjustments made. As this, this device does not cure the disease or change the progression of the disease. So if there were, if he had new symptoms or if his tremor was to increase as a result of his condition progressing, we would make adjustments to the stimulator. Um, the batteries for the DBS systems, on average, uh, last for about four to five years before they need replacing. And that's usually an outpatient uh, procedure. It doesn't require removal of the electrodes in the brain. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Bass. We really appreciate you being here today. No problem. Anything else? <laughs>